All right, hey everyone, Scoop Scientist here. What I have here is Pycrete and regular ice. Uh, so just on my main channel, my second channel, we did a video about Pycrete and how strong it is. This is the remains of it, pretty much. So we're just doing some basic tests, so you should check that out. I'll put a link in the description for that video. But right now here, i got a bucket of water, the ice and the Pycrete. I'm gonna put them in there and see how quickly they melt. So this is like a secondary test for the Pycrete. All right, here we go. <laughs> so they're in. So now, while they're in there, I'm going to explain what pycrete actually is. The original um, way pycrete was made was you got ice and wood chips, and you basically just froze that. That was it. It's it be, it becomes a stronger ice in the way that the wood chips cross over on each other. So it gives it extra strength, but I use toilet paper for this one. You can use newspaper or just regular paper, anything like that, that has the fibers crossing over, so it becomes stronger. Alright, so I've stopped the time lapse uh, because my camera's about to run out of battery, so I gotta go quick. But that there is what's left of the ice. Here you can tell definitely some of the toilet paper making the pie creeps come off, but it's still a big solid block that I cannot break. Oh, there we go, I can break it. So that's pie creep for you. Really strong, it takes a while to melt in water, but it does still. It just then ends up peeling off layer by layer. Uh, so anyway, if you wanted to see the main video, it shows me making that block and what we did with it to see if we could break it. We ended up breaking it in half with a sledgehammer after it had some pretty serious damage but still didn't break. So. Yeah, check that out. Link in the description, as I said before. But anyway, thanks so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to see future videos like this.